write a formula for the function obtained when the graph of f of x equals the square root of x is shifted up one unit and to the left two units. Okay, so welcome to Transformation of Functions. Um, this is our first video on the playlist. If you're not on the playlist, I highly recommend you being on the playlist um, because then it groups all of the transformation videos that we got for you in one single place. So everything is nicely organized. But uh, let's get started. So transferring functions, we're going to be manipulating functions, whether to the left or to the right, up or down. The rules that you have to memorize is you just have to remember what uh, ups and down shifts and left and right shifts are. Up and down shifts are vertical shifts. Anything that goes from, you know, up and down is vertical. And then from left to right, side to side, those are always called horizontal shifts. If you need to add a shift, just notice that for vertical shifts, you're always going to be adding a constant. They say it as K here. I don't know why they pick K, but you're going to be adding basically a number to the outside of the function versus if you're doing a horizontal shift, you're always going to be working inside the function. You see how you're adding this H value here, and that is inside. All right, so just pay attention. And then over here, I have our little tips and tricks, which will greatly help you guys out. All right, so if you ever want to shift to the right, you will minus a number. If you want to shift to the left, you will add the number, whatever they're telling you, and that has to be inside the function. Remember, horizontal shifts, right and left, left and right, those are always added inside the function. That's why the number is inside the parentheses. But if you're going up and down, those shifts are outside the function. All right, and then shifting up is when you add your number, and then when you shift down, that's outside, or subtract, right, minus the number. Okay, so let's get started. Me personally, what I like to do is I like to work with lefts and rights first, so I like to do horizontal shifts first, and then my vertical shifts. So I'm just going to basically say what we got here. They told us that we have to shift our graph to the left two units, and then we got to shift up one unit. Okay, so let's get it done. The original function was f of x equals the square root of x. So now let's try to fit in this two units, right? I want to go to the left. Remember, anytime that you want to shift to the left, it's adding that number inside the function. The function here is the x being square rooted. So I just need to add a 2 in there to change inside the function. So with this, it will be f of x equals the square root of, I have to change the inside under the square root. So I will say x, and now to the left is a plus 2. Now, let's do the up and down. Up and down, if we're going up, that means that this is a plus sign, and this is a plus outside. So I don't have to change anything here anymore. I just have to add it, you know, tackle it on. So this would be f of x equals the square root of x plus 2, and now I want to go up one unit, so that would be plus 1. And do you see how this plus 1 is on the outside of the overall function? I didn't touch the function. I didn't touch anything with the square root or anything. I just added it to the outside. So this would be your final answer for the first one. Now, don't worry, guys. This is the first one that we're doing, so practice will always make perfect. So let's go to the next one. We're going to be basically doing the same thing. Get your information together and then make your changes. So we want to write a formula for the function obtained when the graph of f of x equals the absolute value of x is shifted down three units and to the right one unit. Okay, so let's write everything we got. I like to work with lefts and rights first, then my ups and downs. 
In this case, it doesn't matter. So we're going to the right one unit, and then we want to go down three units. Okay. So lefts and rights are inside the function. If my original function was f of x equals the absolute value of x, inside the function is anything inside of the absolute values. So I basically just have to get into this absolute value and just make a correction. So let's get to it. So this one would be f of x equals the absolute value of. Now I have to go to the right and down on the left hand side it says to the right shifting right is a minus sign. So I'm going to say x minus 1 and close those parent the close the absolute value. This is inside of the function. Now I will make my correction for outside the function f of x equals the absolute value of x minus 1, and then it says we need to go down three units. Down, shifting down, is a negative outside of the function. It says down 3, so minus 3, and that's it. Simple enough. Okay, two down, two to go. Write a formula for the function obtained when the graph of f of x equals 1 over x is shifted down 4 units and to the right 3 units. Okay, so I like to work left and right first, then my ups and downs. We got a right of 3 units, and then I have a down of 4 units. Okay, so what was my original function? My original function was f of x equals... 1 over x. Now this one can be tricky because where is inside the function, right? I don't see any um, square roots or anything. I don't see any absolute values. So in this case, what I'm going to do is this is the function, right? This is x. So what's secretly going on is this, there's parentheses over here. And anything raised to the first is, you know, basically you don't even have to write it. So there is the function. It's secretly in a parenthesis. So all you got to do is get in there and adjust your function. So for the right, it would be f of x equals 1 over, okay, we're in the denominator now. The function is in the denominator, right? The x is in the denominator. Right is a negative, so it would be x minus 3, and it all has to be in the denominator. Let me just erase that just so that we have room. And that's it. Now we have to go down four units. So I'm just going to put the final over here. f of x equals 1 over x minus 3. And now down four units, you just add that to the outside after the function. Down is a negative, so it would just be minus 4. And there you go. Pretty simple. One last one. So let's get it. Write a formula for the function obtained when the graph of f of x equals 1 over x squared is shifted up 2 units and to the left 4 units. Okay, so I'm going to put my marks here. We have a left 4 units, and then we have a up 2 units. Okay, here's my original function, f of x equals 1 over x squared. And now this looks easier to see. My function is in the denominator here. It's x raised to the second. So anything that's raised to the second inside, that's the function in the denominator. So if we're going to go to the left four units, I got to change inside the function. So it would be f of x equals 1 over x and then to the left is a plus sign, so x plus 4, all being squared. You see how I got inside the function? The function was all raised to the second. Now comes the easy part. We just got to go up two units. That's outside the function. We always add that as the end. I'm just going to put that over here. f of x equals 1 over x plus 4 squared plus 2, because up is always a plus on the outside. And there you go. This is 
your function, the new function once you do your transformations. But that's that's it, guys. Okay, four questions down already. Hopefully this helped. Let me know in the comments what you think. Thank you so much for tuning in. And if you're on the playlist, keep, keep you know, don't touch anything because we're going to go right into more transformation questions so that you could do great on your quiz, exam, whatever you got coming up. All right. So I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.